Hi, welcome to our channel. My name is Jolie, and today we're going to be continuing with our series, reading A Little Time for Myself. And um, it's a collection of Al Anon personal experiences. Not mine, but I mean, I, I'm going to talk about mine, possibly, but these are from, let's see, where was this? It was written by the Al Anon family group Pet quarters people how they put it all together and with that said we're gonna say um the serenity prayer to start so god grants us the serenity to accept the things we can't change to have courage to change the things we can and wisdom to know the difference we can change ourselves if we have the courage to do it even though we think we may have changed it's not about thinking, it's about being into action, having like intention and witness proof that you're actually doing it, right? You just can't have the arrogance and go like, okay, I'm changed. How about you now? No, it's, it's about, for me, you know, when someone says they're sorry, it's not changing. It's saying it but not doing it. So courage to change the things we can ourselves by going into action, actually doing different things so that you get the different results, which is peace and serenity and relationships and change of ourselves. All right, so why do we even want to change? I guess if you have... Um, bad relationships with people and you keep blaming them. Well, number one, maybe, maybe it is them, I don't know, but maybe it's not. Maybe there's part, you know, we, the only thing we can do is take responsibility for ourselves, for our own actions. And then with that said, there's parts of that that you know, get to that point, you know, like the moon card. You get. You have to get to that place to be able to see. Do I need to place a boundary, or, or um, do I need to, you know, dig deeper? But you don't know until you do the actions that are different in order to get to those scary places, you know, like the two mountains, the moon, and the river. That's started here. You don't know until you're. Because you can't see, you can sort of see a little bit, but you don't know really what is around the corner because the the mind and the ego, those two mountains there, are can't see beyond themselves, you know. So it's you know you have a uh, a basic expectation um, and don't have too high expectations, but don't have too low. Don't have any. How's that? No expectations. You just do the best you can. I do the best I can and with intention and then just for today, not like, okay, making a proclamation for for the rest of my life. I just need to do it today so I can actually not be overwhelmed by it or want to give up and say, F it, you know. So that's easy to do. And you're like, ah, I don't feel like it. So just for today, just for today, I'm going to take my medicine from my, my dry socket. I'm going to drink water and still eat ground oatmeal. <laughs> and ice cream. All right, all right, here we go. It's on page, that didn't break. I'm still in April, April, April. So this will be April 9th, if I didn't already say. So yeah, I was inspired about like the moon card because of the, the um, the awesomeness of the moon the other day, I mean, just the eclipse, well, it actually happened on 
today for me that I'm reading for the next day. But yeah, I was like, that came to my mind. I'm like, okay, so I see that in my head. Let's see where that goes. It may, it starts one way and it, I just, I don't know until I do that part then I can see what happens next. So I have to um, face the fears head on and just realize that I don't have to feed the, the ego and I don't have to feed the brain of worry. They're just there. It's like a doorway. Okay, right, so page 100, April 9th. Here we go. The day after my husband told me he was leaving me, I dragged myself to my favorite Saturday morning meeting. Ironically, the topic of the meeting was communication. One of the things I heard that morning was, expect a conversation not a conflict. My husband and I were both con conflict avoiders. We never fought. I thought that was good. So I realized I was using how important is it as an excuse to avoid conflict. So I set up a daily reminder to expect a conversation, not a conflict. I, so I also told my family, including my soon to be ex-husband, that I was no longer avoiding conflict or conversations. It's been a, almost a year and I have had many conversations with many different people that I would previously have avoided. This is interesting. I can do that, can you do? All right, so today's reminder, sometimes it's up to me to communicate and resolve an important issue. Today, I can stay calm I can breathe and pray for the words. That's really, okay, I can do that. Sometimes it's up to me to communicate and resolve an important issue. Today, I can stay calm. Today, I can breathe. And today, I can pray for the words just for today, like I said. So there's a quote from Paths to Recovery, one of the books. Actually, this is, Paths to Recovery is this one, actually, here. Um, this is a step book that we work on that we've worked on. We've gone through step seven, tried to get to eight the other day. Uh, the April meeting was a bust. There was no one there. So that's okay. There's always other months. And uh, the first Sunday of the month, uh, next month, I believe, is um calendar again is a is May 2nd, okay? So May 2nd at 7 p.m. I rushed home. I was like, I gotta go. But, you know, I, I was there and I thought, well, that's okay. Step eight, who wants to do it? I, I do. Like, I feel resistant. So the feeling of resistance is a signal to me that I need to do it. Like, oh, but it's also like a signal of that I can still sense what's going on with me today. I sense resistance. I can sense the resistance, like that word, and I can sense it in other people. And I'm like, okay. And then I just make, like, I realize that when I'm resistant, I end up like getting, it's like, it's more painful to be, just to be, it's more painful to be because I'm like, things don't, or the perception is, more difficult. I'm like struggling. I feel, I feel resistant. Like I don't want to do something or, uh, I don't want to go to the grocery store. Like, how does that feel? It feels terrible to not want to do something. So I'm like, just maybe don't obsess about it. Okay. Just do the next right thing. Instead of thinking about what you're going to do, you just do the next right thing, which is, yes, if you're out of food, go to the grocery and don't ug it because then your day is kind of shitty. You know, you have a shitty part of your day. So, I mean, yeah. And I want to stay close to my higher power it's because it's, it's nice there. It feels good. All right. So, um, has to recovery. We learn that we can participate 
in honest disagreement with integrity and flexibility, even when things do not go exactly our way. We don't have to keep saying, oh, but this is my point. This is my thought. This is my, yes, we heard you. Just, you know, each time you have one of these being participating in honest disagreement, you still may not get what you want, right? But you can be okay with it. You know, like, all right, this is, it is what it is. I mean, we're living, we're learning how to live life on life's terms. You know, it's not, it's not on our terms. But, um, I mean, I would say a lot of it is, you know, what's on your terms is how you perceive it and how you enjoy your life, having peace and joy and serenity that you can do. And what else is life for, for me? Like, I'm like, well, it's just to do the things you need to do, but also to like, hey, Like she said here, like, um, uh, how important is it? I mean, if you need to say it, like there's something that needs to be said, like, hey, you are gambling too much. We're running out of money. We need to talk about this. Or, hey, you're done. Like, maybe talk about it beforehand. Like, I see that you're spending more on lottery tickets than groceries, you know, so, you know, catch it early, have the conversation, see how it goes. Is there a boundary that needs to be placed? What are you going to do in the situation if it doesn't change and be okay with that? Like it says the day after my husband told me he was leaving me, like that may have to happen, but maybe not something to think about, something to consider, like how, what do I value and what's okay and what's not okay for me? And um, protecting yourself by having integrity. But it, it's like, I don't know how people would just come out and change their relationship midterm. Like if you're in something for 25 years, like how is it, Gonna change, but that's why I am not changing. All right, so we learn that we can participate in honest disagreement with integrity and flexibility, even when things do not go exactly our way. I can do that at work all day. I can do that with like like bills or things that are due, or like the tooth that I had an issue with, like have to be flexible with myself first and foremost in order to do that I just don't know like how that works with a partnership that has already been a problem so let me know in the comments what you think about that so um the question of the day is what Al-Anon tools can I use to expect a conversation instead of a conflict Hmm. That's a good question. How can I, what al tools can I use to expect a conversation instead of conflict? Uh, the humility prayer. Um, that's for sure. Um, the tools, writing this, writing a step out on it, um, out, of, out on the issue to see like where I am on that. Not to like switch it over to blaming myself for everything but to like see like what the fear is and is it rational um calling my sponsor going to a meeting reading something uh pausing i don't know what else so okay so yes relationships personal relationships are difficult right but that's what we're learning how to do. All right. I love you. And I'll see you. 
notified when I like tomorrow with another reading. Okay. Oh, like and subscribe if you haven't already and share this content with somebody who may benefit.